Well, good morning. Morning. Thank you. So I'm delighted to be with Matt Luscombe, who is the CEO of Psychos Hospitality. That is a pan-European hotel management company. So thank you, Matt. Um, we'd love to understand a bit more about how you've been leading through this um, crisis. Yeah, well, thank you, Ali, for the opportunity. The, uh, I guess uh, n nobody has a playbook about how to approach this. We, none of us have lived through a situation like this before. But as I reflected on that question, I thought about three things uh, that I've been trying to do, um, focusing on people, redefine winning, <coughs> and, and just being brave. Uh, and maybe I'll take just a moment to talk about each of those three. Uh, the, the reality is all of us, particularly those of us running small businesses, are uh, having to be extremely focused on cash flow forecasts and spreadsheets. And, and it, it becomes very easy to live in a world of you know, Excel and numbers. Uh, the reality is, you know, particularly in our industry, we, we must never forget you know, what, what we do is we, we sell brilliant people. Psychas's job is to hire and develop and 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 and, and uh, provide to the owners of our hotels brilliant people so talent has to remain the priority even in these difficult times and and part of the way we've been doing that is is, is just by being honest and open regular communications particularly given so many of our team members are uh, home working and some people have been furloughed it's just very very important to stay in touch and to come up with creative ways to, to drive engagement and, and continue to focus on personal development uh, we're very proud that uh, this year we, we're in the top three uh, hospitality employers in the UK for uh, the Caterer Magazine Katie Awards. So uh, hopefully we'll find out which position we're in in the next couple of months. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, something we're very proud about, focusing on people. Um, the second thing was was redefining winning and, I guess, celebrating success because, you know, normal practice is that we constantly compare ourselves to last year or to our budget. And the reality is in this environment, doing that is uh, just incredibly soul destroying. You know, no, nobody can compete with last year's numbers. It's just not the market we're in. So we need to develop new definitions of success. Uh, at SciCast, we, we managed to keep almost all of our hotels open through the worst of the crisis. And, and most of those hotels running it uh, GOP positive. Of course, they were miles behind their budget. But to achieve that was really something special. And uh, we, we were very very focused on calling out the leadership teams of those hotels you know for their rgi numbers for their for their gop numbers and, and and really not focused on prior year or budget you know every significant booking is a win in this market mm, yeah. and the uh, the third one be brave i guess uh, you know one of my uh, favorite business gurus is warren buffett and he famously said be fearful when others are greedy, but greedy when others are fearful. Uh, and we're trying to do that. We're trying to be brave. Uh, as Psychos, we're opening 10 new hotels in the next six months. Uh, we're still signing deals for, for new hotels this year. Um, and, and I guess uh, the glass half full lens on this crisis is we're having to staff up a lot of hotels at the moment. And it's an absolutely wonderful time to be hiring brilliant people. Uh, and we, we're very, very focused on bringing the very best talent into Psychos during this period of time. So yeah, they're, they're my three things. Um, focus on people, redefine winning, and, and be brave. I think, um, I think that is excellent, really um, well articulated and so, so pertinent. Um, yeah, so just picking up on those, yeah, I mean, redefining uh, winning, I, I think it's, like you say, great that it's with such changing different times um you know it's more like week on week or something and and just looking for any um positives instead of like you say soul destroying um looking at negatives so i like that and like you say more holistic commercial focuses like you know, go par and total revenue um and rgi just you know improving on the market that's brilliant but i think um yeah the one that, thing that i wanted to ask you more about talking about being brave which like I said I totally love I was funny and love listening yesterday again to who moved my cheese you know um that one and um you know a lot of great lessons in in there but they they do talk about feel feel the fear sort of and just go for it anyway um so yes it's it's great that you're you're leading that and um are you seeing that therefore people are just encouraged to think out the box and creatively 
Yeah, look, one of the most crippling things for anyone is fear, is fear of failure. Um, and the reality is in any environment, but particularly this one, you know, we, we do have to take some risks. Uh, and, and, and people won't take risks if, if they're focused on the downside of what if it goes wrong. You know, we have to focus on the upside of what if it goes right. You know, we can't be crazy. We've got to be prudent with, uh, you know, our hotel owners, our shareholders and our company. But, um, you know, we've got to go out there and take some risks and take some chances and capitalize on the opportunity. Yeah. No, well, excellent. Well, you know, th th thank you. I wish, wish you all the, all the best. Thanks for chatting. Thanks very much, Ellie. Thank you.